Welcome back. Distracted drivers killed 1,600 people in New Jersey between 2003 to 2012. The number of people injured, much higher than that. Now there is a distracted driving bill up for consideration in Trenton to cut down on those accidents. Now you would think that wouldn't be controversial, right? Wrong. Kimberly Kravitz explains she's at the New Jersey State House. Kim. Thank you, Larry. We're here at the State House in Trenton where New Jersey legislators are putting their foot down to ensure the safety of those on the road. The hope is to restrict what drivers can and cannot do behind the wheel. And soon it might be illegal to drink your coffee on the way to work in the morning. It may seem like an irrational proposal, but there is major concern that our roads are filled with distracted drivers. Eating, putting on their makeup, or even worse, taking selfies on the road. But the question is, how do we determine what's considered distracted driving? People think that that means, you know, I'm holding something, I'm distracted. I'm looking at something, I'm distracted. What we know now is that the distraction is actually cognitive, and that's the biggest danger. And so the bill that was proposed in the legislature is the first that really addresses the dangerous behavior behind the wheel as opposed to the dangerous device or the technology. By cognitive, she means anything that takes your mind off of driving. Critics of the proposed bill have not been keeping quiet, arguing that the state's pre-existing driving laws are sufficient. Some are concerned that police officers will misuse the authority granted by this proposal since distracted driving is subjective. What we've seen, in addition to a continuation of people using their cell phones and texting while driving, a proliferation of a variety of activities that defy common sense, but nonetheless go on behind the wheel. I've seen behavior that just is beyond unsafe. Uh, and the goal behind the legislation is to try to uh, create one uniform standard about essentially paying attention behind the wheel. In 2013, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration said that 10% of fatal crashes involved drivers distracted by activities including eating, smoking, adjusting the radio or air conditioning, or daydreaming. In 2014, for the fifth straight year, Distracted driving was the top cause of fatal crashes in New Jersey. So why are people still so against this bill passing? I would say that people are against the perception of what the bill is, not what the actual bill is. And if you ask people if they want to ban distracted driving, they would say yes. Um, if you ask them if they want to, if you want them to no longer be able to drink coffee, they'd say no. And I, I would say no too. I like my coffee. Um, I think we need to find a place that allows us to address the behavior, the dangerous behavior, um, without sort of making it overly um, ambitious. Jersey Matters also spoke to Bill Elliott, the chairman and CEO of the Hero Campaign, whose son was killed in a car crash. And he said, we need to do everything we can to pass laws with stiff penalties and jail time for motorists whose irresponsible actions kill and injure thousands. What it is about is making sure not only that you come home safely at the end of the day, but all of the other people on the road who have absolutely nothing to do with you, who may be following the rules to a textbook uh, definition, they're driving, you're not paying attention, you injure or worse those drivers, you've affected some other families, some other lives uh, because of your actions. As of now, legislation doesn't specify which activities would be banned, so it would be up to our police officers to decide whether or not they will penalize you for drinking your morning coffee on the road. For Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz.